Hi guys, and today we are going to talk about the Canon's 50mm f1.8 STM lens for food photography. Welcome back to another video, and my name is Rubrik, and recently I was invited by a local restaurant in our area to do a photo shoot for their menu, and today I will be sharing my experience about the photo shoot and I will also show some of the photos that I have taken using the Canon's 50mm f1.8 STM lens. Just a disclaimer, this was my first attempt for food photography and it was a great learning experience for me. I agreed to this photo shoot so that I can learn new things and also to challenge myself. And without further ado, let's now take a look at some of the photos that I have taken during the photo shoot. So those are some of the photos that I took using the Canon's 50mm f1.8 STM lens. Let me know in the comment section down below on your thoughts whether this lens is good or not good enough for food photography. Honestly, I am very amazed by the result of this um, lens when it comes to food photography and I cannot complain when I look at the photos. The only disadvantage that I can say about this lens is that um, when you are trying to take a wide shot and I was not able to take some wide shots using this lens because I was doing the photo shoot on a small room and in order to take a wide shot you will need to move backward or farther away so that you can get some wide shot using this lens. So for some wide shots, I was using a different lens which is the uh, Canon's 24mm f2.8 lens. Overall, this lens is very good for food photography in my case and I believe this lens is best for tight shots and portraits. Just a quick summary of the things that I use during the photo shoot. First is my camera. I am currently using the Canon 200D or the Canon SL2 and this lens is much tighter when it is being paired to my camera. So my camera is crop sensored so this lens is around 80 millimeters. I also brought my tripod during the photo shoot and this tripod was important because it allows me to properly compose my image before taking the photo. And I was also using an interbolometer during the photo shoot. However, this is not important. I just used this to control the shutter button of my camera because I am lazy to press the actual shutter button of my camera. So whenever I took a photo, I just press here. So you can do the photo shoot without this intervalometer. And those are my experiences on my first attempt for food photography using the Canon's 50mm f1.8 STM lens. If you have any questions, please comment it down below and I will make sure to answer it. I will see you all on the next video.